हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू मिशन आईएस दिस इज एन सी आर टी जोग्राफी क्लास सिक्स प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी सैयद आसिफ इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक द वीडियोस एंड शेयर विद ऑल द एस्पिरेंट्स फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच प्रीवियस वीडियोस डू वॉच इट यू वुड गेट द कॉन्सेप्ट क्लैरिटी इन दिस चैप्टर इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद सेवन चैप्टर ऑफ एन जोग्राफी क्लास सिक्स दैट इज आवर कंट्री इंडिया सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so india is a peninsula of which three three sides are surrounded by water bodies and one is connected to the land masses so it has himalayas in the north okay the arabian sea in the west and the bay of bengal in the east and here indian ocean okay here arabian sea india has an area of 3.28 million square kilometer the north to south extent of india is 3200 kilometer okay this vertical distance or expansion of india is 3200 kilometer and east to west extent is 2900 kilometer and this is to west this horizontal expansion it has 29 state and 7 union territories and rajasthan is largest state and goa is smallest state state in terms of area locational setting india is located in northern hemisphere and tropic of cancer passes almost half a way through the country from north to south the mainland of india extend between 8 degree 4 minute north and 37 degree 6 minute north latitudes okay if you have if you don't know latitude and longitude do watch previous video watch the second lesson you would get the concept but for your convenience i tell you here the latitudes means these horizontal lines which are parallel to each others okay these are called latitudes and these vertical lines okay these vertical lines are called longitudes from west to east india extends between 68 degree 7 minute east and 97 degree 25 minute east longitudes so due to a great longitudinal extent of about 29 degree there could be a wide difference in local time between places located at the two extreme point of india so how is it for example consider this is west point of india and this is east point of india so here passes 29 degrees okay these are considered 29 and a 1 degree uh, to be passed need a 4 minutes so there would be a gap of about 2 hours in this region and if okay the uh, do you know which is the nation who get the first ray of sun that is japan and japan is east to the india okay if you consider so first this side get the rays of sun and therefore this the mornings first come in this region and then in this region so let's see i will explain it due to great long longitudinal extent of 29 degree there could be a wide difference in local time between places located at two extreme point of india okay this extreme point and this extreme point it is known that the local time changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree okay this distance is crossed within 4 minute as such the difference between these two points would be of about 2 hours so the sunrise Two hours earlier in Arunachal Pradesh than in Gujarat, the local time of longitude, 82 degree 30 minute east, has been taken as the Indian standard time. And to avoid this conflict between time, it is taken as this 82 degree 30 minute is taken as standard meridian of India. Large countries like USA, Canada, Russia. they are stretch extensively 
from east to west therefore they do not have a single standard timeline like india example russia's expansion east to east expansion is west therefore there are five timelines in russia okay so let move forward india's neighbors so there are seven countries that share the boundaries with india these are afghanistan bangladesh bhutan china myanmar nepal and pakistan and among them afghanistan nepal and bhutan they do not have access to any ocean or sea they they are not surrounded by any water body in case of sri lanka and maldives these are iceland neighbors of india and they are in the south the sri lanka is separated from india by the stretch of park strait okay so what is strait strait is a water body that connects to major water bodies okay it is a small water body and these are two okay just consider these are two big water bodies okay and this is small water body this is called stretch strait so physical divisions in the north are the lofty snow capped himalayas and they are divided into three main parallel ranges so the northernmost is greater himalaya or himadri and it consists some of the world's highest peaks then second is middle himalaya or himachal which lies to the south of the himadri and it has many popular hill stations the shivalik is southernmost range you can see here this is greater himalaya this is or this is greater himalaya or himadri this is himachal or middle himalaya and this is shivalik range so these are three parallel ranges of himalaya the northern indian plains lies to the south of the himalayas and generally level and flat okay they are leveled and flat they are formed by the alluvial deposits laid down by the rivers which are the rivers the indus the ganga the brahmaputra and their tributaries we can see here okay this is this northern this is northern plains okay so alluvial deposits are very fine soils okay brought by the rivers and deposited in the river basin okay the tributary is a river or a stream which contributes its water to a main river from either sides so the river plains provide fertile land for cultivation which is the reason for high concentration of population in these plains in the western part of the india lies great indian desert you can see here this is great indian desert and it is hot dry and very low rainfall area and very little vegetation is available there so you have seen here let move forward to the south of the northern plains lies the peninsula plateau peninsular plateau it is a triangular in shape and the relief is highly uneven very different from each other this is a region with numerous hill ranges and valleys various kind of hill ranges and valleys are found here aroli hills which is one of the oldest ranges in the world and that border to the north to west side you can see here this is aroli range so the vindhyas and the satpuras are important ranges the rivers narmada tapi flow through these ranges and are west flowing rivers that drain into arabian sea and the important thing is that these open uh, most of the peninsular rivers flow towards the east and drain into bay of bengal but they are ex these are these two rivers are exception for that the western ghat or sayadris okay western ghats are almost continuous and uh, they are west of the plateau and eastern ghats which are broken and uneven provide the eastern boundary you can see here this is western ghat okay the which is continuous and these are eastern ghats which are broken 
at plus to plus. The plateau is rich in mineral like coal and iron ore are as there are uh, many deposits or big deposits of these minerals. Let's move forward to the west of the western guards and east of the eastern guards lies the coastal plains. You can see here coastal plains. This is also a coastal coastal plain and this is also a coastal plain. The western coastal plain is very narrow. Okay, this is very narrow and comparison to this, this eastern is vast. There are a number of east flowing rivers like Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri that drain into the Bay of Bengal. You can see here this is Krishna that drain into Bay of Bengal. This Kaveri, this Kaveri river drain into Bay of Bengal. This Mahanadi and this Godavari. All these rivers drain into Bay of Bengal. Therefore, they are eastward rivers. The Sundarban Delta is formed where the Ganga and the Brahmaputra flow into the Bay of Bengal and it is world's largest delta that is Sundarban Delta. A delta means what? A delta is a triangular in shape and is an area of land formed at the mouth of the river. Mouth of the river means where rivers enter the sea that point is called mouth of the river. So two groups of Icelands also form part of India which are they? They are Lakshadweep Icelands which are located in Arabian Sea and these are coral Icelands okay locate, located off the coast of Kerala. Corals means what? Corals are skeleton of tiny marine animals Samudri Jeev hote hai called polyps unko polyps kehte hai when the living polyps die their skeletons are left other polyps grow on top of the hard skeleton which grows higher and higher thus forming the coral island then second is andaman and nicobar islands which lies to the southeast of the indian mainland in bay of bengal and thank you for watching this video if you have conflict with any concept if you haven't understand any concept please write in comment section below you can ask freely without hesitating and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe like the videos and share with all the people who are needy of it thank you